Hello, Otter friends. It's so good to see you again. Today is our sixth day of school. Yesterday, we talked about how to introduce ourselves to new friends and we got to practice in our small groups. Today, I want to do a little bit more practice because the more we practice, the better we get and the easier it will be. Let's practice our introductions again. This time, I want to add a few other things for us to focus on. We practiced the words yesterday. Today, we will, be, we will practice making sure our eyes are looking at the person, our body is facing them, and that we are speaking clearly. If I say, my name is Nikki, it was, was it easy to understand me? No, I need to make sure my body is facing who I'm talking to, even if they're on a computer, that my eyes are looking at them, again, even if we're on the computer, and that I am speaking clearly. Let's practice. We're going to say, hi, my name is, and then say your name clearly. My turn. Hi, my name is Miss G. Now it's your turn. I want you to say, hi, my name is. Go ahead. Great job. I just know you're going to make a whole lot of friends. In fact, I have a fun story about a little girl and her friends. Let's read about her together. My friends. My friends. I learned to walk from my friend, the cat. I learned to jump from my friend, the dog. I learned to climb from my friend, the monkey. I learned to run from my friend, the horse. I learned to march from my friend, the rooster. I learned to nap from my friend, the crocodile. I learned to smell the flowers from my friend, the butterfly. I learned to hide from my friend, the rabbit. I learned to explore the earth from my friend, the ant. I learned to kick from my friend, the gorilla. I learned to watch the night sky from my friend, the owl. I learned to sing from my friends, the birds. I learned to read from my friends, the books. I learned to study from my friends, the teachers. The teachers are all your friends. I learned to play from my friends at school. That's so much fun, but make sure we play nice. It looks like some friends are not playing very nice. I learned to love from a friend like you. Wow, she sure has a whole lot of friends. Now, I know that they're not all people, but what the story shows us is that the world is full of friends that we can learn new things from, and that's always very exciting. Making friends isn't always easy though, but I have the perfect story for all of my otters about how to be a good friend. I hope you enjoy it. Do Unto Otters, a book about manners. Do Unto Otters. Do -de do, 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 do do, Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're your new neighbors, the otters. Otters? Otters? My new neighbors are otters? I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? Looks like he's worried that they might not get along. 
pesky otters. Loathe you, rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying. Do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It simply means treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm, how would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters to treat me? Well, I'd like otters to be friendly. A cheerful hello, a nice smile, and good eye contact are all part of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me, especially after my last neighbor, Mrs. Grrr. She was voted the meanest neighbor six years in a row. I'd like otters to be polite. They should know when to say please. Please look. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rabbit, would you please return my ball there? Pretty please with carrots on top. Would you like me to stop stinging you? Yes, please. Say the magic word and I'll turn these clams into a million dollars. Magic word rhymes with this cheese. I can say please in five languages. Por favor, s'il vous plaît, beat. Kudasai, ease play. They should know when to say thank you. Thanks for looking. Would you like me to sting you now? No, thank you. Then please take my business card and call me when you're ready. Nice beak. Thanks. Did you say please or cheese? I can say thank you in five languages. Gracias, merci, danke schon, arigato. Ankte, uye. And they should know when to say, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. B, I need to run and check on something. Oh, Miss Otter. Excuse me for interrupting your reading, but I heard you say please, not cheese. I can say excuse me in five languages. Dispensame, pardonne-moi, anstugen si. Shusemasen, excuse way aime. Otters should be honest. That means they tell the truth. That also means they should keep their promises not lie and not cheat. My word is as good as goldfish. I never lie. It makes my whiskers itch. Cheating makes my whiskers itch too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. I'd like otters to be considerate. You know, being a good listener, asking before borrowing something, not littering, being patient, Caring for all creatures, big and small. Opening the door for someone. Being on time. Respecting the elderly. That means older people. Helping neighbors untangle ears. It's always good to have a considerate neighbor. It wouldn't hurt otters to be kind. Everyone appreciates a kind act no matter how bad it smells. It looks like he doesn't really like the fish, but it was a nice thought. Oh, and what's that word? Cooperate. Otters should learn to cooperate. Cooperate means to work well together. We know how to cooperate. I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair. Come on, you two. Wee! You win. Otters rules for fair play. Be a good sport, that means having a good attitude. Play by the rules, take turns, include everyone, even bees. I'd like it if we could share things. Our favorite books, 
our favorite activities, our favorite treats. Mm, maybe not the treats. That's okay. I hope otters won't tease me about my doody doo song, my extra large swim fins, my bad hair days. I hope otters won't tease anyone about anything. Teasing is mean. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. I think otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry I used your ear as a tissue. And I hope they can be forgiving when I do something wrong. I, I'm sorry I called you snotter. Oh, you. I forgive you. So there. That's how I'd like otters to treat me. You see, Mr. Rabbit, I told you it was simple. Right. Just doody do unto otters as you would have otters doody do unto you. I'm so glad that Mr. Owl was there to help the bunny understand how to do unto otters and treat otters the way you want to be treated. I just know all my otter friends are going to be great at that. Let's have a small wiggle break. Ready? I wiggle, wiggle my fingers. I wiggle, wiggle my toes. I wiggle, wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle, wiggle my nose. Now no wiggles are left in me, so I will be as still as can be. Great job, friends. I think we're ready to practice our new alphabet song. Let's sing our alphabet song. We'll do it slowly first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I never will forget how to say my alphabet. All right, friends, let's try that one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I never will forget how to say my alphabet. Wow, you're getting really good at singing our alphabet song. I hope you teach other people how to sing it too. Now yesterday, we read about some LMNOPs and the fun things they like to be. Well, I don't know if you know this, but there's another book about them with even more things they like to be. Let's read about them. L M N O P equal. We are P's, alphabet P's. We're busy again in the ABCs. We're architects, authors, and actors, you and I. We're botanists and bakers. How about a berry pie? We're cleaners and cowpokes. Who here wants a ride? We're doormen at your service and dentists open wide. We're engineers at the wheel of a speedy train. We're firefighters on the job and field hands. Is that rain? We're golfers on the greens. Golly me, a hole in one. We're groomers and garbage collectors. Our work is never done. We're hairdressers, hippies, and hula hoopers. 
we're ichthyologists, we study fish, and we're ice cream scoopers. We're jailbirds and janitors, kite gliders on the breeze. We're loggers sawing logs and locksmiths cutting keys. We're mothers making lists, newborns and optometrists. We're pirates on the open seas, arg so mad and mean. And one and only one of us is the royal queen. We're roofers, rappers, soldiers in a row. Students and tailors, so, so, so. We're umpires, uncles, yes, we're undies too. Violinists and window washers. Wow, what a view. We're XPs to the rescue, zap, whoosh, whack. We're yakkers on our phones, yak, 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 yak. We're zippers on a zip line, zipping over and back. And we're dreamers too throughout the ABCs. What will we be now? So many possibilities. I had so much fun reading all those books with you today. I can tell your brain is growing a whole lot. I'll see you again tomorrow.